Hey guys, and welcome back to the Maras. When we last left off, we were back outside in the gardens. Now, we have some serious stuff to deal with outside. We have our friend, who, would you Adam and Eve it, is not actually quite so friendly. We have our friend Mr. Sickle Guy, or discount nemesis, if you will running around and skulking these very grounds. So what we're going to do is grab these supplies quickly. Um, that is rather unfortunate. We have a letter here. Gatekeeper notes. Who is the gatekeeper? Number one. All of the initiates, including myself, are slowly getting used to things on the island. As we study under the order of the master, Lord Alfred, we begin to understand the true nature of his power. Yet, there is one thing that I don't understand. There is a being, a being on this island. I don't know whether to call him a man or not, but he is quite an imposing figure. He does not speak. He moves as if possessed and is a and is huge hulking mass seems to be immune to any and all administrations and attacks he lurks around the graveyard which the master tells us we are forbidden to enter because of this we have given him the name gatekeeper because of his habit of standing uh, sentry by the cemetery gates when we inquired about his purpose here lord alfred only told us to keep our distance from him and to respect his presence on the island. Perhaps the gatekeeper is a result of the change. So, that's his name, the gatekeeper. Well, duly noted. So, what do we have here? We've got the key. We're gonna leave the key there for now. We're going to pick that up. And I guess we are going to do Glorious combat with the gatekeeper. Come on then, you big, ugly motherfucker. Let's get this done. Now, I tried relentlessly to take this guy on with the handgun. Yeah, uh, I put about five, six magazines into him. Didn't even drop him down once. So... Bear that in mind. He has a new attack as well. Which is that one there. Discount Nemesis attack. Um, this guy is pretty rough. I find dodging his attacks only works half of the time. If you're lucky. It appears if you run away at an angle, that's your best chance. But it is not guaranteed. And when I say it's not guaranteed, I mean it's not even close to being a guaranteed way of avoiding his damage. But we shall adapt, endure, and survive, because that is what we do around these parts. Now hopefully we're not going to gurge out all of our shotgun shells. Uh, we got caught in the scenery there, which happens way more often than I would like. Ooh, that's hard to avoid. The problem with this encounter, or should I say the main problem with this encounter from my testing, is using the shotgun is just so slow. The animations involved with the shotgun are, are very, very slow. So it does take you about half a second to actually put the shotgun down. Now, this guy... As usual, completely optional. But if we do take him out, we will be richly rewarded by something pretty bloody nice. Glad we stunned him then. Yep, I was hoping to run past him, but no luck. Ooh. Never seen him. Oh god, that was bad. That was really bad. Really dumb. Sh shocking nobody. Right, dropping him, like I say, completely optional. 
but it does yield us that key. What does that key do? I hear you ask. Well, dear viewer, watch and you will see. So, we're going to want that key back. Ah. Probably should have grabbed that and made another super healing item, but it doesn't matter. That small bandage, I would wager, is not going to be uh, wasted. So, after killing him, we do get a rather nice little bonusy option key. Let's just run around and have a little look. Blood stain. If we see a blood stain, you know what that means. That means one of these happy little guys are going to come through. Now, luckily, we've got a lot of space to maneuver here. So, I would rather try and take these guys out with a handgun, if possible. To save those precious, precious shotgun shells. Now, they're not too bad if we have enough uh, room to maneuver. It's when you're trapped, that's the problem. After all, we have a nice little abundance of ammunition for our handgun anyway. All right, let's keep exploring. Now we have that bonus key. Seems like a good idea to go and use it, right? There we go, purple sapphire. Now, what is through yonder? Well, we have some very juicy things indeed. We have a medical kit. We have some explosive uh, ammo. We have a save disc. And this unfortunate fellow. But look what's next to him. A new weapon. We're going to find out about this guy. Must have been dead a while. The corpse is badly decayed. I see a name written here. Adrian Bennett. Indeed. We're going to take his uh, SMG. And... Now, you can only get this, like I said, you have to kill the gatekeeper uh, for the third time to get that key. Now, let's uh, move on and forget about him. Mr. Adrian Bennett. Well, very interesting stuff indeed. Yeah, this guy's got a bit of background lore. We're going to find out a bit about him. Right, let's take this guy out. Charge complete. Try not to get too badly injured. I say, optimistically speaking. And as we can see, Mr. Bennett is up and about. Now, Mr. Bennett, although he's a zombie. He is not your garden variety zombie. And what do I mean by that? Well, he's actually incredibly durable. Alright, let's just hoover up these souls. But if we kill him, we get a nice little bonus. And we actually have to kill this guy to get the best ending. But I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, if we can get the best ending uh, on the first playthrough. Come on. I know we have ammo to spare. That doesn't mean we want to gurge it all away. Come on, Mr. Bennett. Oh, he's got a wiggle on. You can see he's also got the puke attack. From the big guys. But unlike the big guys, he doesn't explode. Man, he takes a few bullets, doesn't he? Oof. Emptied another magazine on him. But apart from that, he's uh, not that much to write home about. 
and we get the uh, Cirrus key. What does that key do? Well, it unlocks another bonus secret room in the mansion, which we need. Now, are we going to go and use that med kit? Where? Well, we've got a portal just around from us that we can use, to be fair. So let's go back to the portal, get healed up, and come back out. So we've got the uh, submachine gun, the Mac, which is a nice weapon, actually. Considering, um, you know, it's just a submachine gun, and... Uh, Especially with Resident Evil in mind, sometimes the uh, rapid-fire weapons are not that powerful. In this game, however, it's incredibly powerful. Uh, I did try it off-camera, and it tears, and I mean tears, through those uh, otherworldly beasts that teleport in. It's um, quite a terrifying weapon, if I'm honest. But in all the good in all the good ways. Okay, so we've got the bow gun. We have so many save discs at this point, it's kind of insane. Actually. Uh right, let's grab you. Medium bandage. And we shall take this ointment. That, that. Let's mix up a full heal because that will use up all the items in our inventory and then we can harvest some more these mine bolts are very useful um, drop those back drop those back drop that back and with that we're in a much better situation I think so we're gonna take that we're gonna take the red sapphire and let's go chicken hunting. Okay, so there's a lot, and I do mean a lot, of uh, blood spatters that we can go through and activate to collect souls. Now, unfortunately, in fact, I think there's one down here. Now, unfortunately, um, oh, there's another one there. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have enough holy water to deal with all these guys. These guys aren't actually that much to worry about as long as we're not too silly. Come on. Come on. There you go. As soon as they've attacked. Ooh, you little git. They have a little bit of a rest. And who can blame them? Let's be honest. Right, he's almost done. Or at least he should almost be done. There we go. Right, give me your soul. Yeah, so as long as you've got a lot of space, I'm noticing those guys are really are quite trivial. So we had that blood splatter there. I think there's another one. We can't grab that, but there is. Now, there are some dogs around that corner. Dogs are a pain in the penis, as we have discovered. But hopefully... There we go. We'll be able to have them without too much difficulty. All right, come on, matey. Alright, we want him to go for the attack, like so, but we don't want to get too greedy with it, there we are, okay, now this kind of does feel like a bit of a waste of ammo, but bear with me, I'm not 100% sure, I suppose I was going to say where the best place is to go get our stuff back, but actually, there is a fountain here. 
which we are absolutely going to make use of because we can take another one of those guys on. We still are only like halfway to getting that key. I'm really hoping that we uh, either can keep all of our souls in New Game Plus or we're going to rapidly get a load more. Now, unfortunately here, we've got dogs. And you know how I feel about the dogs in this game. I think they are terrible. Especially with how uh, much damage they can take. It seems to be really inconsistent. And you don't want to leave them behind you either. Because uh, they will sneak up on you. And they will cause large amounts of damage. Now we need that nautical rope. We got a tubby zombie. Which we can take out with relative ease. We have another zombie. Which we should be able to handle with relative ease. Beautiful. I was going to say, I'm sure there's a third zombie here somewhere. Right. Okay. Good stuff. That was only eight bullets. Which wasn't as many as I would like, I'm going to be honest. Alright. Another blood stain. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. That's it. Not a fan of... getting trapped by this guy. Come on. Slow down. There you are. Oh, oh, he got us. He got us. Yes. Eat shit and die. Now give me your soul. Perfect. So we've got the nautical rope, which is what we needed. We've killed the dogs. Man, we have literally just got rid of uh, over half of our ammo, which, well, that's not the best result we've seen. The chest is locked. That's no good. So those guys are perfectly, um, you know, easy to kill with the handgun, which, my God, I wish I had discovered that off camera. I mean, I did <laughs> discover it off camera, but I wish I discovered it a long time ago because we would have saved so many shotgun shells. In fact, the only reason I did discover that was because, uh, well, as you can see, we're really, really running low <laughs> on the old shotgun shells. So I reckon maybe if we ran around the castle, we'd probably find quite a few of those blood stains, which, you know, is fine. However, I question with whether we have enough ammo to, uh, you know, deal with them all. Let's actually go up here and have a look. See if there's any more up here. Any more blood stains? Anything at all? No? Yeah, we know. Newspaper. So, these guys really weren't at this mansion for that long. Oh, I wanted to find, yeah. So these lights, I'm guessing. Yeah, look, these lights are electronic. So it's just inside. The master didn't want the electronic lights, which is curious. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's start heading back. Yeah, not even halfway to having enough souls. Very unfortunate turn of events. I don't think there's any more s blood up here. This would have been very awkward if we were still fighting the gatekeeper. But we pretty much sent him packing. Now, there was actually a locked chest back there. But we can't do anything with it yet. Unfortunately. Danger, guard dogs. Yes. 
Lots of guard dogs. Yeah, we got that. Yep. Cool. Alright. So, let's head back. Ah. There we go. I was going to say, this guy didn't seem to want to come out. Didn't want to come out and play with me. Why, that's not very nice of you. You should entertain your guests, surely. Alright, just get a couple of cheeky shots on in when we can. Oop, almost. Come on, buddy. Oof. Yeah, these guys really aren't that much to write home about. Whew, not that I would, uh, you know, be brave enough to try and use the handgun on them or anything. So we're now up to 46,000 souls. It's a shame you can't, like, farm these, really. Because, you know, we need 10,000. 10,000. That's a lot of souls. Anywho, we need to head all the way back. Oh. Hello. So we've got another friend to play with. Nice try, sir. There we go. Kite him like a good one. Ooh, he hit me. Dick. Right, give me your soul. Although, you get quite a few souls from these guys. Now, am I just wasting ammo farming these guys? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Especially if that key is, like, useless. But then, it's the only thing that we can spend... money on. So... You know, I, I guess it's got a use. Somewhere. Oh, we better take that back. Okay. Let's go back into the... Uh, into the mansion. And the best way through there is through here. I think that's all of the extra bloodstains that I've found thus far. Unfortunately so. Now I'm wondering if we're going to see the keeper again. In all honesty, I don't actually know. I've no idea. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Now, this is what we can use the uh, Ceres key on. And that will yield us this room, which seems to be Mr. Bennett's. Well, we've got some shotgun shells. Very nice. What else do we get? Have a hangar magazine. 11 rounds. Very nice. There's a detective badge inside the trash can. It reads, Detective Adrian Bennett, Florida State Homicide Unit. Ah, curious. A letter to Paul. Dear Paul, Adrian Bennett. Letter to Paul has been filed. Best not open this. I should give this letter to Paul. All right. And that is that. Now this, as well, you need to get this to uh, achieve the best ending. I really should look up if you can get the best ending on your first run, but I'm pretty sure we can't. Right, anyway, guys, I think what we should do now is probably go and save the game, because we've been running for quite a while now. Now, I did think we'd finish up the mansion in this uh, episode, but maybe not quite. Now, we would have got an Achievo 
for using that key. In fact, you get an Achievo for killing uh, the Keeper for the third time. You get an Achievo for killing Adrian. And you get an achievement for using that key. You get an, Basically, the achievement was um, for unlocking every door in the mansion. All right. So, anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, more exploration, of course.